as this guy's coming across the bridge. Oh, he's a full armored man. Yikes, dog, he just got yoinked. And he's dead. Let's try and yeet someone from a mile away. Close, but not quite. Is that guy running away? Nope. He's just repositioning. Yikes, right in the forehead. Alright, welcome back everybody to part 2 of the, I guess this is a let's play, the let's play of my Bannerlord, my first ever Bannerlord uh, play by play I think, not entirely sure what it is, a commentary, but yeah, so I'm going to have to apologize about the last game that I uploaded, uh, right before I decided to save, I think it was before, like directly after. I was actually going to end the episode with a outro uh, and then my power went up so when my power went out I had a couple minutes to save before my computer went out because it was plugged into the power surge which gave it a few minutes and I kind of panicked immediately hit the stop record button and decided to keep going uh, and that blackout lasted about two to three hours maybe uh, so I didn't really get time to edit that, I just threw it on there, put a little black screen towards the end, apologizing. And yeah, hopefully this next episode is going to be a lot better. Uh, I'm also going to try and work on making it, uh, working on making it a little shorter, probably about 30 to 45 minute uploads instead of a whole hour and 45 minutes. Initially, it wasn't supposed to be that long, but I realized I didn't set a timer and I just kept playing and time just took over so From this point on we will be making it a little bit shorter uh, Where were we? We were right. We we're finishing the manual laborers quest which is over here in Oraton. We have one looter. We're gonna need two more Right yeah two more okay, and everything looks good so far we have to look for a companion in order to get our clan tier up quicker is it I can't remember if having two different yeah I can't remember if having two different um parties running around will actually da -da -da. Actually, I don't even think we can create another party until like clan, back clan tier two, clan tier three. But we are looking for a more. Or what kind of companion was it? The uh, trade. Uh, trade in order to start a merchant once we get there. Uh, for now, let's check out these guys with their quests. Army of poachers, meh. Rival gang, meh. I don't really care for those quests. We need to go and hunt out another group of looters and or whatever deserters. We could probably do deserters. What's our team looking like again? We got crossbowmen and legionnaires, freebooters. We could try to do deserters. We're probably gonna lose a couple. I'm not entirely sure how strong we are. Let's see how much they're gonna pay. Uh, they do. Not, they did not mention how much they're gonna pay. Huh? Yeah, he doesn't mention how much they're gonna pay. All right. Well, we're gonna just hang in there, wait for the 36 deserter party. What are they? They're infantry and some cavalry. Oh well, this might be the death of me. We will see. This is one of the reasons why some of the quests I don't do yet, but our guys are pretty upgraded, so <laughs> I just realized we only have four infantrymen. Do we have backup from the... we do have backup from the people. Wait. Getting my uh, hotkeys all mixed up. Where are they? Have to make a little Mario jump there. Everybody's going to stand loose because there is There's a couple of cavalrymen out there Hopefully these crossbowmen can deal with that We're gonna do 
deal with that guy. Don't want to go chasing after. Oh, look at all that group right there. This guy's coming across the bridge. Oh, he's a full armored man. Yikes, dog. He just got yoinked. And he's dead. You have to be careful of the cavalry, so I'm watching my archers back. My footmen seem to be doing alright. Oop, oop, oop. Almost died there. I don't know what died, but if I got skewered, that would've hurt. Oops, that is not the way I wanted that. We're gonna try and keep the archers on the high ground. I'm forgetting to cancel. Man, my commands are getting horrible right now. You can just tell I'm rusty as hell. Don't need to worry about that. It looks like we're doing pretty well. We actually... We haven't lost anyone, but the uh, troops that are helping us out are all dying. The uh, village men. So we are doing all right. Oh my goodness, my canceling is not working properly. Looks like we're doing all right. Here we go. Try to help this uh, that guy that. Oh, he's dead. How much we got left? One more. Just leave it up to these guys. These crossbowmen putting in a lot of work here. And that guy running into a tree doesn't help. His case, at least. Sorry, my commands are a little bad. Oh, he's dead. Where's the last one? Is that a oh my gosh, I didn't even notice him. Alright, let's see if we lost anyone. It looks like we didn't lose anybody. <laughs> it was just all the village people. Which is kind of sad, but at the same time, you know what? It doesn't affect me at all, so we're good. We did extremely well there. We got a lot of prisoners. The Blandian champions, those are super good. We're actually going to hang on to them. Sergeants are good. Light cavalry. They turn into the Blandian vanguards. Oh, we're... Shoots. I forgot this gameplay was not supposed to have much cavalry with it. But I think it's okay as long as they are not the archer cavalries. That was the whole idea of the gameplay. Uh, we are going to have to take some of these recruits in order to... I actually want to keep some of those recruits in order to finish the quest. Uh, da, 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 da. We don't... We were looking to get the sharpshooters for our crossbowmen. These guys were good. They were a little better as the sharpshooters, so we might just hang on to them. These footmen could probably get turned in, so we have one. These guys can technically go into the sharpshooters, so maybe we'll hang on to them. We'll take these. We don't really care too much about this side. These guys are actually the rank sixes, aren't they? Oh, okay, so we're definitely hanging on to them. Uh, we might actually want to hang on to these guys too because they also turn into the rank six. But let's take some of these. One, two, three, I believe. One, two, three, yep. And we should be able to finish the quest with that. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see if they. Oh, actually, just let's just, uh, let's just let it sort out for now. We finished the quest. We may reclaim our rewards by talking to the men again. He's going to give us 900. I was expecting a little bit more. Does that give us more? Yeah, we'll just take it. I don't think it was a powerful influential. Yeah, I need to remember to check the powerful influential or not. Just like this guy. This guy's a powerful. But that is just fine. We need to turn in three people for some gold. Let's head over there now. I'll check my inventory afterwards. 
We made some good money off of that. Let's go over to this landowner who needs manual laborers. Let's turn in the ones I don't... Oh shoot, he only takes looters? Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to turn in that looter. And we're going to go and sort through all this. Do we need these? Probably not. They're just going to slow us down. Footmen and infantry. We're going to keep all these ones. This guy's a tier 5, so that's the only reason why we're keeping him. Our crossbowmen are ready for upgrade, so let's get them upgraded. The freebooters. Batanian folksmen. It's not like we can get those, but the forest bandits turn into Batanian Fion champions. Which is amazing. We're going to wait for both of them to upgrade. That costed so much to upgrade. Holy smokes. Okay. That is fine, I think. Um, we do want to upgrade our spear here with that one. That's a lot nicer. Our sword. Wow, our tier 4 is actually better. Is it because this one's a rusty? Probably. Okay, we're cool with that though. Um, helmets. We actually got a really good helmet. We're finally... I mean, we just got this little uh, suction cup on our head. And now we're already here with a, uh, a different type of coif. Let us see what else we got. Our boots were in good shape, but we got even better boots. So that means we're going to keep this for our next companion. Keep, 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 keep. What else was there? We're going to keep this one over this one. Uh, keeping that, we can get rid of these and get this to our next companion. And the short spear compared to the cracked. Is this a cracked? They are both cracked. 194.79. 170. Uh, this one is more damage, but it's shorter. We're just going to keep this one length is pretty important depending on their if you're a melee or a cavalry rider I feel like the length needs to be longer if you're a cavalry user um, shorter if you're melee or on foot because the ooh, doesn't look much better but it is slightly higher armor um, but yeah because how close the enemy is determines like about how far or how fast you can swing or your spear won't get caught up basically you'll be able to hit a bit a little better I believe that's at least that's what it feels like when you have a shorter spear as a footman it just feels like you can attack a little bit faster hold up reset that there was one scarf no no I think we're good yeah we're good so this scarf we did get a sumter horse out of that last fight um, we got most of our gold up from upgrading we got more than the gold that we had from upgrading our crossbow and these guys are going to put in work now that they're tier 5s uh, we're going to hang off on recruiting them for now until our troop count can get higher but we are good with Oraton. no we're not good with Oraton. we need two more forgot about that all right, let's go find some looters. Hopefully, Galric. The other thing I had on my previous playthrough before the patch, of course, is that the quest for the Nerets, Nerates Folly, they didn't highlight on the people who had the quests, like the uh, the ones that could complete your quest for you. It didn't highlight it for some reason, so I would have to stop and go and talk to people individually and just off the top of my head remember people's names are they faster than us we're the same speed this is going to be annoying we are losing gold like crazy how many days do we have we're not going to be able to really catch up to this guy 21 days okay we got time where is my camera at oh my gosh that's those 10 looters are flying and it looks like we're like <laughs> they got caught up with the other looter group but that is fine it works more experience and better chance at capturing them instead of killing them which is nice 
Gonna have them separated. We definitely need more footmen. It just feels like they're gonna get swarmed. But that is what we're here for. We equivalent. We are equivalent to 100 men. Sort of. Not really. Let's try and yeet someone from a mile away. Close, but not quite. Is that guy running away? Nope. He's just repositioning. Yikes, right in the forehead. Okay, a little too far. That's advanced. Damn it, man. I was trying to give up my call. Out. Got that guy. We're gonna just poke this guy down. Oh my gosh, our damage is poopy. Oops. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. The archers ended up getting them. How many people got away? Is it just the one? Let's see if these guys charge after them. Why are they so slow? Is it going uphill that makes them slow? We're gonna do this just to get a little bit more athletics. Look at them, they're going so much faster now. Let's see if they can manage to snipe that guy running away. It's only one looter, but all the loot possible from killing this guy. Is he gone? Yeah, looks like he's gone. We're gonna just continue on. We did manage to get the one athletics from, oh. Oh no, the guy got away, he retreated. All right, so on to the next. Three people got injured, which is exactly what we needed. Our quest, let's just take all three just in case. I think it was two more needed. My memory is so bad sometimes. Yep, two people needed. We can get rid of one. Just so our movement speed helps a little bit. We don't need to deal with these guys. He has the last bit of loot. But I think it'll be alright if we just walk away from him. Don't care too much about chasing down all the looters. Not like we can capture up that catch up to them that easily. We could have probably fought that one. But I believe that guy was chasing after it, so he would have helped us and joint all our loot. Which would have been a little sad. We are fine. Let's finish off our quest here. There we go. Finish up our business. 990. We were promised, I think, 800. So I think that's due to our trade. Not trade, our charm. I have a feeling. Da da da. Do barters. It doesn't say it. But I'm almost certain the charm is what's causing us to get more gold than what we ask for. Technically, in my opinion, it should be in the trade policy, but I'm at zero trade and for some reason we're getting higher gold through these quests and whatnot. So I'm going to have to assume it's from the... From the... Oh man, my mind is just going blank. Sorry about that. It's 3 a.m. in the morning just kind of woke up from the charm there we go uh, let us sell these products they have 830 gold in their income all right we're cool it's not even going to come close to 830 is that my beer that's being sold it is lock that all the food is precious to us that dropped it by like 40 gold and here we are again we managed to pretty much almost complete this. Oh, that's based off our renown, which we are growing slowly. We do want to hunt and look for another companion. That is one of the other reasons why we didn't just fill up this slot with all these uh all these uh troops that we can recruit because they do take up a troop slot. Let's see. The easier and more effective way is probably to hit N, go through here, look through all the companions, where they're at, but I'm just going to take the longer way and run around trying to figure out where they are. Make it a little bit more challenging, I guess. Or just, I don't know if challenging is a word, but definitely just makes it a little longer. We're just going to take some of these desert horses. They're not cheap but they will help increase our movement speed overall. I don't know if you need to have the ratio of horses in your inventory the same as your army in order to keep boosting it, or if like 
just adding horses adds the number because right now it's at point 36 hmm. that's something I'm gonna have to test out sometime later all right oh that's a huge looter group we don't have any quests here sadly the other quest that we're really looking out for is the hideout one if we can get a hideout one our troops at tier 5 are gonna clear that like extremely quick and that'll give us some pretty good influence on all the other kingdoms are we even able to capture up to this one we are we're point two faster let's just annihilate these guys real quick hopefully this is a nice pretty open field one where we can just pop off with our with our crossbowmen that guy's really taking the lead where are they they are over there we can actually move our archers up closer infantry can come up a little bit more i don't believe they attack and move at the same time which is interesting we've got our little oh they do have skirmishers even though they're what thought they were removed. Oh nice throw. We're getting better at this. Yikes, right as I said that. Okay. Somebody. Oh, I don't even have any more. Please don't let that guy get away. Okay, he's gone. Did get an upgrade to our skirmisher. I think it's just it's called throwing, not skirmisher, but I do like to be called. I like calling it skirmisher. This guy will run back to us, so let's just finish him off. We don't need to go and fight him. Uh, we don't trust him. He's gonna give up, thankfully. Take all oh, he had all that food there. He had all this food on him. That's why it's kind of important to go finish them off entirely before they get away. Because some of the looters, the one or two groups that last bit, do hold the rest of the things, like the rest of their uh, luggage, I guess. Their load. Load is kind of a interesting word to say, but you guys get what I mean. Let's us hunt down these looters. Hopefully, yes, they did get pulled in, which is nice. All right, let's go. 25 against 22, but our guys are upgraded. Upgraded. Let's get everybody over here. Come on, move, move. We do like, wait, what the heck? Was my camera? Why did that feel so weird? Why did I think they were on that side? What is it? Whatever. These guys have javelins, which is interesting. They've, ow. They have like one javelin. We are getting swarmed here. The rocks are completely taking us out. Or at least taking me out. We want to get them out of shield wall in order that for them to run faster. If they do decide to chase, which they should be. Ah, frankly, we're super slow, which is not so great. But it is what it is. We can just capture them afterwards. Da -da -da -da. Forest bandits. So look how quickly they were able to get upgraded because of our Valandian boost. I know I keep bringing it up, but it's it's so fast. If only we had the veterans thing, then these guys would be just instantly recruited up, or instantly six tiered soon, as fast as possible. Let's go and capture this. Oh my goodness, they are faster than us now. We're gonna focus on the eight instead of the one. We are slightly faster than them. I can't believe that one got away. Um, we don't need to go in. I take that back. Apparently, we needed to. Oh wow. That feels bad, man. That feels very bad. That is one of the saddest things to see. I figured we're all tier 5s. We wouldn't have to worry about that. But apparently we had to. 
taking this Vlad. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take these guys. This will be our first group of uh, cavalry, which means controlling them, of course. We don't want to take these recruits yet. Maybe we should. We have a Vlandian champion. Okay, we really just need an upgrade to our party count overall. Let's keep going. Look for some quests to do. Get some of these. Uh, look. Let's see if any of these guys are a part of my quest. See? Okay. It didn't have any indication. No exclamation mark. Notifying us about this person here having the quest. I'm not sure if it was in because they're in an army, but I'm pretty sure before when they were in an army, it would notify us either way. Uh, but look, this person is a part of it, and we would have never known we would have ran right past them. I'm not sure if that was a bug. Just kidding. I that was the first time I ever mentioned it. Ignore me. Take that. I take it all back. But of course, they're gonna mention third, third. Only third, third. I guess. All right. Belliger. He probably has. Yeah, he doesn't. He just has a quest. Um, let's see what that quest is. Da 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 da. Oh, it's four Vlandian spearmen. Sorry, buddy. We don't have that kind of influence around here. I've kind of. I kind of look like an idiot mentioning that. But uh, hopefully, what I'm talking about will be shown later, where it doesn't have an exclamation mark about above like Durther or whatever. So let's continue on. Hopefully, what I said wasn't just complete to bogus. And sadly, we're not finding a lot of quests. It's a little annoying. We're not finding a lot of quests right now. We should be heading to major cities, which will go... Actually, we're going we're gonna to head this way. There's three along this way. doesn't matter too much, but... Iswan. I don't remember if Iswan has this quest, but let's try it. Ragavan, okay. Let's talk to his other members. Siga, da -da -da -da. none of these guys are part of the quest. I just remember them off the top of my head. I remember most of them at least. The only one that had a notification above it was the a different guy with a different quest. No quest in there. Which is unfortunate, no quest in here. I keep looking at the troops to see if there is an upgraded set of troops. So far unlucky with that. Let us chase after these guys. We're slightly faster than them. This might just be delaying us. Okay, we're gonna just let them go. Those guys look good. Oh, we have a quest. Village needs draught animals. I do not remember too much about this one. I think this was... Just searching for cows or something for them. Let's figure it out. Tell me your needs. They need four cows. We can offer you... Okay, so this quest here sets you up so much, in my opinion, for your food. If you can get these four cows. It costs a little bit of gold. They obviously won't be giving you gold. They'll be giving you meat in exchange for it. Yeah, because this gold here is going to a companion. So you're sacrificing gold for meat. And I'm not sure if the ratio is that great, but we're going to take it anyways. We're going to take it. And we'll just look around to see if there's like a cow thing. It's most likely we're going to have to head here. We're going to head here. There is a quest there. So we'll go and check that out. But we're going to check if they have cows as well. They do not have cows, unfortunately. So let's just make a little bit of gold by selling our loot. Check the the boys over here and the possible women. All fighting people with scouts, which is a... Or not even scouts, it's just athletics. A little unfortunate there. We might consider ransoming. Let's try. Do we need these guys? We don't need them, need them. 
These guys are going to take a while, so we're just getting slowed the entire time. Our money is not too great. We can do a tournament to finish off this video. Let us do a tournament. Get some gold and renown. Um, oh, it's an all-out brawl. Here we go. We're just two-handed axes. How did that miss? I am not sure. Oops, that hurt. Ow. Oh my god, I'm dying. It is down to the last two. Oh god. Got a guy with the bowman. We gotta strafe a little. Hide behind our guy with the shield. Good job, good job. He did all the work there. We're gonna skip this round and go into the next. It's a 1v1v1. And we've got a two handed sword. Oh, snap, oh crap, oh pop. This swing is faster. Oh. Alright, that was a little scary. I did not see that guy behind me. Yeah, it was 1v1v1, but it worked. So 2v2, let's just make it sure. Oh shit. Excuse my language. Alright. Oh, okay, 1v1. Get this off. Let's get this over with. Oh, uh, oh, we lost her swing speed. Lot of Gual, who the heck are you? Oh my goodness. Okay, we got nothing out of that. Nothing. Her swing speed was so much better than ours. She's an actual. <laughs> Look at that two handed skills. Oh, I failed so hard there. Lado Gual, huh? Ah, unfortunate, unfortunate. There is no more tournament there. This guy is stolen goods. We do not want that. Ah, a little unfortunate. That was a little sad. And that, that is the end of this video. I will catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Um, And have a good one. Thanks.